Good day to my Christian brothers and sisters and welcome you all to our channel. In the name of Jesus, we pray that God will answer our prayer in a glorious way with perfect wisdom and mercy. May God see us through and meet all of our needs. Today, we'd like to share some amazing discoveries made by Father James Blunt, a mystic priest, during a recent conference he gave to a Seattle area church. Before we proceed to the core of the message, may you not forget to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel so as to be able to access the latest messages from above. Stay with us and listen to this video until the very end. God has a blessing with your name on it. Type Amen if you believe so and praise be to God. My adorable Jesus. May our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together, to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. The talk focuses on the end times and what is coming and how to prepare for that moment. Father Blunt, while demonstrating how to pray the unification prayer, the moment when prayed blinds any demons nearby, stated. I have a special grace to see devils and angels and right now I can sense his annoyance. He is now becoming increasingly irate with me as I'm ready to reveal the key factor. Let's say it now to blind and freeze him, preventing him from witnessing this congregation and the healing process. Father Blunt then goes on to lead the congregation in the prayer of unity as follow. My adorable Jesus. May our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together, to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. Father Blunt concludes the prayer with an amazing declaration. He says, Now something just happened. What I'm seeing is real to you. Does anyone else perceive what I perceive? A divine light just passed over the church and over you. I had earlier seen some devils there in the dark. They have already left. I'm not sure if you can sense it. I can actually see that a light just appeared over you. The promise has an imprimatur, just as this request has an absolute improbability. Hence, the church backs up what has been pledged. So this is my beloved. This is a lifesaver. We have to have this now as Pope John Paul said, we are now involved in the greatest battle between light and darkness since the fall of Adam and Eve. Father Blunt continues by relating a dream he had in which the city of Seattle was encircled by a serpent. He exhorts the faithful to say the prayer of unity for their hometown of Seattle as well as for each individual's own city. The vision of the serpent is explained by Father Blunt. He claims that, that day he witnessed the largest serpent he has ever seen over Seattle. And he noticed many of the people there admiring the large beast. Those who have true stories about the scene. The guy and woman moved through the large church like a snake, slithering from one end to the other. Remember that, the devil first appeared as a snake. Thus, he witnessed the largest one of its kind in the sky over Seattle. And the Lord says it's because of witchcraft in the New Age movement what that's he said even if such things aren't amusing or cute. You are aware that even the New Age movement invokes bad spirits. Father Blunt teaches that the New Age movement is a calling on demonic spirits, 
and that there is only one name we should ever call upon to anticipate deliverance. This is called, calling upon the evil one, which is also Jesus Christ's name. Father James asserts that there is only one name under heaven given to the human race by which Seattle can be redeemed. It is Jesus Christ. It's the only name that can save us, as that name is divine and that person is divine. He is standing right here next to us. He is with us. Jesus. We love him. And he wants everyone to know there is no need to worry. Father Blunt starts out by explaining how our Jesus will present himself to everyone, particularly at the Great Warning. Jesus will appear in Seattle, right in your living rooms, the speaker claims. A few of you will be able to see him with your own eyes. We all want the snake to go so that Seattle residents, including atheists and those who have never received baptism, will no longer be affected by the enemy. You see, that's the whole point to cease being influenced by him. Father James Blunt here affirms Fr. Michelle Rodrigue's earlier prediction that the Great Warning will temporarily blind Satan for six weeks. This will provide each person the opportunity to make a sincere decision without being swayed by the evil one. Father Blunt says that the second prayer, the flame of love prayer, will result in the great warning that will follow. The powerful message or conscience enlightening. That is, Satan will be banished for a period of six weeks. For six weeks, there were zero demons so that everyone may make the appropriate decision. But for the time being, we employ the more extensive prayer of unity to link him to our region. Let's now remind him of that. For the entire city of Seattle. A devil just began shrieking right now as he took a brief pause before starting to yell at the large serpent. You see he knows what's coming. So, Let's say it now to bind him from Seattle and begin to pray with the faithful people of the adorable Jesus. This is the end of today's video. Thank you for watching, and may God continue to shower us with his favors and blessings. To finish this video, we recite a short prayer to our King and Lord Jesus Christ to give your life to Jesus and invite him into yours. Choosing to believe that he is who he claimed to be the Son of God and the only way to salvation and receiving him by faith as your Lord and Savior is the most vital act anyone will ever do. We want life. He is life. We need cleansing. He is the living water. Oh, most loving heart of Jesus, I come before you, with the weight of my sins, to plead with you and implore you to have compassion and mercy on me, on my family, on the USA and on the whole world. I voluntarily consecrate myself to your beloved heart and I voluntarily consecrate my family, my nation and all the nations of the earth. Protect us, O beloved heart of Jesus, and protect my nation and the entire world, from the attacks, traps and snares of the evil one and of his agents of evil. Sacred Heart of Jesus I trust in you. Amen.